Too Low SWR Can Kill You was the title of an article in QST Magazine in 1973. It was written by antenna engineer Walt Maxwell, W2DU. Now, what did Maxwell mean by Too Low SWR Can Kill You? Well, he starts off like this. Judging by what we hear on the air, nearly everyone is looking for an SWR of one to one. Question why, and the answer may be, I'm not getting out on this frequency because my SWR is 2.5 to one. And then Maxwell goes on with other mistaken reasons for chasing an SWR of one which he compares to the days of when humans thought the universe revolved around the earth. But how can that kill you? Well, says Maxwell, when we discover how little we gain by achieving a low SWR on the average feed line, we will avoid unnecessary and time-consuming antenna modifications. Such modifications often involve hazardous climbing, and precarious operations on a roof or tower, which can result in injuries or even death. Let's kill SWR misconceptions, not ham operators. Getting up on the roof or climbing a tower, climbing a ladder, chasing an SWR of one, symptoms of SWRDS, SWR derangement syndrome could lead to the ham becoming a silent key prematurely. If you are suffering from SWRDS, I can cure you in about 10 seconds. And it doesn't hurt. Just listen carefully. On the 10 meter band, where SWR losses are highest, If you have a 5 to 1 SWR on 100 feet of LMR 400 coax, the additional loss caused by that SWR is less than 1 dB. On the lower bands, the losses are even less. There, you're cured. RF engineer Yuri Van Duren, ON6URE, on his website, rf.guru, says, Chasing a 1-to-1 SWR as a fetish (laughs) is counterproductive. Trying to get exactly 1-to-1 at all times leads people to make design compromises over using matching networks or accept high-loss solutions, tuner losses, long lossy coax, etc., just for the meter reading. Yuri argues that moderate SWR, 2 to 1, for example, is often perfectly acceptable, especially when feed line losses are low and the antenna is efficient. Antenna engineer Tom Roche, W8JI, low SWR isn't always the best thing if it masks other problems. Because voltage, common mode, balance, and reactive stresses are often invisible to a simple SWR meter, having a nice low SWR can give a false sense of security. W8JI's stance is that engineers should dig deeper than just watching SWR meters. How many times have you heard a guy on sideband with terribly distorted audio? Probably because the shack was hot with common mode current, but his SWR meter reads 1.5. So, in the HF bands, stop wasting time and risking your life by chasing a really low SWR when it really makes no difference. Do you have an antenna tuner? Use it. And I am happy to report that other ham radio YouTubers are now using that expression SWRDS, showing increasing awareness of this disease and spreading the word. Consider subscribing to this channel, ring the bell for updates in 73.